everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got in this month's BoxyCharm box. So this is my second month of BoxyCharm. I'll let you know what the value of it is and what I think of all the products. So based on the card from this box, the theme is eye candy. I got five full size products from this month and I did the three month like prepay thing. So the box has come out to be like, I think 1966, like a box rather than the $21 if you just pay like month per month. Um, so you get a little bit of a discount if you do like the like prepaid kind of plans. So that's what I did and this is what I got in my April box. So the first product I got is this skincare product. This is from the brand Dr. Brandt and this is called the Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. So it is like a pore refining mask and it says that it is an extraction specialist unclogging and tightening the look of pores and reducing excess oil from the skin surface. So I just use this and this is the actual full size of this which is actually kind of small in my opinion. This one is one ounce or 30 grams of product and the full price of this one. Based on the card, they say that it's $47. I just checked this on Sephora and it's $42. So I don't know if there's like a little bit of a price difference or what, but on Sephora it's 42. And the instructions say to apply this very thinly to the skin and just to the areas that you want like the pores to like, um, like improve the appearance of. So this I think I'm definitely going to use very sparingly and I'm not going to just like slather this all over my face because this is kind of an expensive mask, especially for the size of it. And it also says to use this two to three times a week. So I just applied it just now for the first time. So I'm sure I'm not gonna see any like super immediate results. Um, but I do notice that like my skin feels very soft where I applied that. So I'm definitely gonna have to give this more than one try to see if I like it. Um, but so far I don't mind it. Um, it kind of has these like little, almost like micro beads in it that burst whenever you apply it to the skin. Um, it's kind of like these little blue bead things. It's kind of cool. Um, so I applied that. This is a clip of me applying it and here's what it looks like. It says to just leave the mask on for five to 10 minutes and then rinse it off and pat your skin dry. So that's what I just did. This is how my skin looks afterwards. Um, I don't really see any like super immediate results, but again, I will have to use it a couple more times and like see um, if it works for me, but it felt nice on the skin. It had a nice kind of cooling effect. So yeah. So the next product I got is one from Tarte. This is called the Tartist Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter and mine is in the color Exposed. This one is um, valued at $29 and this one just says it's like a creamy highlighter that's supposed to be sheer to intense, ultra concentrated pigments, blah, 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 blah. So it looks like there are maybe three different colors that you could have gotten in your BoxyCharm box. I actually don't really have that many Tarte products at all, so I'm kind of interested to see how this works. Um, this just has like a little squeeze tube applicator. I'm going to put a little bit of it on the back of my hand. I think I'm going to apply this under my skin, um, under my skin, ew. I think I'm going to apply this under my foundation and then maybe I'll do it on top of my foundation as well. Um, but this is kind of what the color looks like. It's kind of like a goldy champagne color. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of apply this to my cheekbones and kind of see how it looks. I can definitely see little flakes of like sparkle and like kind of not really glitter, but kind of like a super fine glitter, which I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest. So um, this is kind of what it looks like all blended out. I will try it again once I have my foundation on. Okay, so I have applied my foundation, my concealer, my powder, um, bronzer, and blush. So now I'm going to go back with a Tardist um, Pro Glow, and I'm going to do just a tiny bit on my cheekbones for a highlighter. Um, I think I've kind of made up my mind on this product so far. I'm not really loving the like little glitter part in it but I want to give it another go as kind of like just on the cheekbone kind of thing and I'm gonna apply this a little more I guess sparingly but yeah I don't know I'm not really loving how this looks on my skin so so this is with it on my cheekbones I put it on very very sparingly um, I think that it works if I kind of really blend it out but again I just I'm not a huge fan of like these little glitter particles. So the next product I got my BoxyCharm box is the eyeshadow palette. So this one is the ColourPop Semi Precious um, eyeshadow palette. And to be honest, I looked on the BoxyCharm website um, a couple days ago because they kind of like tease some of the products that you could get in your box. And it seemed like all the palettes were ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. And to be honest, this was actually the one I wanted the least. Um, but I think 
think that, you know, looking at it in person, it's definitely really pretty colors and things like that, but it is the one I kind of like, was like, I hope I don't get that one. It's still pretty either way. So these are what the colors look like. These are all like shimmer colors. So I wouldn't be able to really use this palette alone. So I'm going to pull in some mattes from my Kat Von D Monarch palette because that is the palette that I'm using for this month. So I'm going to try the Tardis Pro Glow color. I'm going to apply a little bit of this to the lid. Um, so let's see, I'm going to apply just a little bit of that here. I'm going to kind of try to keep it on the lid, but I'm already kind of getting it everywhere. But um, this texture actually seems to work not bad for the eye, especially if you're going to apply a shadow over this. So from this palette, I'm going to use this gold one right here just because that one's probably going to fit the color um, best. And um, I'm just going to like pack this on top of the lid. I feel like I kind of have to scrub just a tiny bit of the top layer of the shadow. Um, but once I kind of get rid of that little top layer, this is like actually really pigmented, super shimmery too. I like this color. It's very pretty, but I can't resist this like really pretty blue color here. So I'm going to apply that. I think on the lower lash line, hopefully this doesn't like look terrible, but it looks so pretty. I really want to try it. And I've only got so much eye space. Ooh, that blue color is really pretty. I wish I would have used that on the lid now, but um, I'll just have to use it another time. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit more of like a matte brown color and kind of smudge that inward so that the blue doesn't look so weird on its own. I wish I had like more room for like shadows on my eyes, but I feel like um, any other colors I add are just gonna kind of look really weird and muddy. So I'm just gonna have to like try this another time and like really get an idea of what I think about these shadows. So these are the eyes. They're to be honest, very simple. Um, I'll have to definitely try out more of these shadows, but just from like swatching them and kind of like playing with them just a little bit, they feel really soft and smooth and I'm really happy with that. So the next product I'm actually really intrigued to try. This is an eyebrow um, product. This is from the Brow Gal. This is called the Instatint Tinted Eyebrow Gel. Um, it says it has microfibers to achieve a natural hair look. Perfect for the customer who wants a quick but natural feel to their brow. So this one's in the color, it looks like 02 um, brown hair. I was kind of afraid this is going to be too dark, but when I actually open this up, I feel like this is actually probably going to be a good, a good color. Um, if this one is color number two, if there's one lighter, that might work. So I can definitely see like little tiny like fibers in here. So I'm just going to start brushing this through my brows and kind of see what I think about it. It's very, uh, very thin brush. I like the brush a lot. I feel like this is very easy to kind of comb through my eyebrows, especially since I don't have super thick ones. So I think you can definitely see the color difference that it made my brows. It's just a little bit warmer and a little darker than what I typically do, but um, I would still like totally wear this. I think it looks fine. I'm gonna kind of like brush a little bit in the front of my brow where I don't really have too much eyebrow. So you can kind of see the color difference here, and that's obviously because I don't have any uh, eyebrow hair. So I'm actually kind of pleasantly surprised. I don't think I would be able to use this alone as just like my eyebrow product because again, like I mentioned, I have weird eyebrows. So um, if you already have like really full kind of eyebrows, but you just want to like tent them or kind of like fill in just the little areas where it needs a little bit more shape or definition, I feel like, I don't know, I like this so far. So the last product in my box is a lip product. This one is from the brand, I think it's called Adesse. I've never heard of this brand before, Adesse New York or Adesse New York. Um, this is called the High Definition Liquid Lipstick. So it's kind of like a dark, um, kind of like warm brown brick kind of color. It's a little bit darker of a color than what I would typically wear to be honest, but um, this one is valued at $24. Again, I've never heard of this brand. The packaging seems a little, I don't know, a little cheap. I will line my lips real quickly using my NYX lip liner in the color Natural. Okay, so this is just with the lip liner on and now I'm going to put on the color. Um, actually, I don't know what color name this is at all. There's no name of it on the actual packaging at all, which is one like pet peeve of mine, I hate when things don't have color names on it. I don't see any name on the box as well, and I also don't see a name at all on the actual like boxy charm card. So that's a little annoying. I don't know what the color name is. I did look on their website and it seems like they only had like six colors of these. And the only one that looked remotely close to this one I think was called like Haute Coco or like Coco Couture or something like that. So um, to be honest, I don't really know what the name of this is, but I'm gonna apply it and see if I like it or not. So the first thing I've noticed is I really love the scent of this. It smells just like the, um, what's it called? The NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams that kind of has that cake batter scent. Um, it definitely has that. I'm actually really like surprised and I'm really glad that it doesn't smell like 
chemicals or anything because I hate that with liquid lipsticks. So now I'm just gonna apply this and see how it feels. Okay, so my first immediate thoughts on it. The color is not my favorite. It's just a little bit dark for me, I think. Um, and it's definitely not really that much of like a springy kind of color, which I'm kind of surprised because the actual like little promo thing, you know, it's called eye candy. And I just feel like, you know, it has like a very light pastel-y kind of theme to it. I feel like the other products don't necessarily like say that really to me. I feel like this is definitely more of like a fall kind of color. It definitely has a very glossy kind of lacquered look to it, but it's a lot thicker and a little bit more sticky. So I think that this one's definitely one that would stay a while because it's so thick and tacky. Um, but I feel like just from like, like I can feel kind of like little little tackiness to it. The actual lip brush I like as well, but I kind of Kind of like I kind of don't like it's one of those lip um, doe foot applicators that is like flat on both ends so it kind of like holds the product well I like that because it's easy to apply on the bottom lip however this one is like super super flexible um, and I find that it's almost too flexible for the top lip I like something like a little bit stiffer for the top lip because I kind of want to get like a really nice clean line again it worked well for the bottom lip but for the top lip it was just a little bit too wobbly that's if I'm just being super 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 picky about the product but those are just kind of like my thoughts on this for like a very first impression so overall the total value of my box was $148 and that's if I go off of all the prices that are listed on my little card so like I mentioned the um, Dr. Brandt skin product. That one I saw was actually $42 on Sephora and not $47 like it says on the card. And then the ColourPop palette was originally $26, but you can get this right now for $18. So if I take those two price changes kind of into account, the actual like value of my box is $135 um, versus the $148. So even if it is more of like $135, I still think like, Obviously, I only paid like $19.66 for this box, and I'm really happy with my box again. I was really kind of like worried, oh no, what if I really like the first box, but like I hate the next one? So really quickly, I'm gonna go through the products and tell you just really quickly, what do I like, what do I don't like? So the first product on my list, the TARDIS Pro Glow. For a highlighter on my face, I do not like this at all. Um, it's just a little bit too like glittery, and I don't really like that on my skin. Um, I'll have to try it more as like an eye base. I feel I feel like that definitely worked especially for this color the ColourPop semi precious palette so like I mentioned this was kind of the palette I was like oh I hope I don't get that one <laughs> and of course I did get it looking at it in person I actually do really like the colors a lot these are actually really pretty the only thing is I don't feel like this is like a complete palette for me because these are all shimmers as far as like using them all together they don't really have much of like a color story that I feel like I don't know works for me to me this makes me think of like a palette of like just single shadows kind of all put together like to be honest I probably would have rather had one of the other ColourPop um, palettes especially since some of the other ones actually had a lot more shadows in it this one has eight shadows and I believe this one is the smallest palette out of all the ColourPop ones they had I think they had about like maybe five different palettes that were kind of like in rotation for the certain boxes that you could have gotten so I kind of feel like I don't know out of the ones I could have gotten I I really liked the golden state of mind one that one is again another one that was all shimmer but there were a lot more colors to that so if I was gonna get an all shimmer palette I feel like I probably would have rather gotten that one because it had so many more colors next I have the dr. Brandt vacuum cleaner pore refining mask this is a product I probably honestly would have never tried on my own or really forked out the money to buy so I'm really glad that I get to try this so I give this a thumbs up as well I'm gonna have to um, use it more consistently to see like does it really improve my pores so next month I'll update you on on those next is the brow tint product this I actually liked as well again I feel like I couldn't use this as a like a standalone brow product for me but using it with other products I actually like this as well so I give this a thumbs up and then the final product I have is this liquid lipstick so now that I've had it on for a while I can definitely tell this is not a liquid lipstick that will set at all I would call this more of a melted lipstick like I mentioned um, this color is not really a color I would truly wear it doesn't really feel very like springtime appropriate color either so 
Um, for this, as another one, it's like I don't dislike it. I just don't really see myself using this product that much. So this is another kind of like, not quite a thumbs down, but kind of like a, like a sideways thumb. So overall, I'm actually really happy with this box as well. I think I might have liked last month's box just a tiny, tiny bit more. Um, just like kind of overall, I felt like everything, I could use everything. So I'll give you some product updates from last month's box and let you know what I think about them. So quickly going through the last products they had, the South Main Eye Gel Pack. Patches. I really like these. I won't repurchase them. I do have other ones that are less expensive that I like, but I really liked those products as well. I feel like you can't go wrong with that, but I won't buy any more. Next is the brushes that came in that kit. Um, I forgot to use those in the video, but I've been using them since then, and I really do like them. Um, the, my favorite one is the Step 2 brush. This one is kind of like the fluffy, slightly angled one. This I use for my nose contouring. It's like perfect. The shape just works so well. Um, and it's like really easy to blend. It's very soft. So I love the brushes as well. The palette, I really do like the palette. I have not used it since then, but I loved how my look turned out so much. I've been like dreaming, dreaming about that palette, but I kind of want to really stick to my one year like makeup project. So um, that one's definitely gonna stay in my collection. I'm really, really happy that I own that one. The next product I had was the Bella Pierre Mascara. I did not like that at all. I ended up giving that to my mom. She didn't really care for that one either. That one was like valued at like $20 for mascara. Wasn't a huge fan of that one. So that was like kind of like a thumbs down product for me from last month. What was the last product I had? What was the last product? Okay, I remember now. It was the Pretty Vulgar Blush. I still really like that one. I used that one a couple times. I think it's a really pretty color. I was super happy to have have that especially since that was another more expensive product so I definitely really liked that blush as well so that was it for my April boxycharm box I do have one month left from my three month kind of like subscription plan so after next month's box I will be deciding do I want to keep my subscription or do I want to cancel um, I will just have to wait and see how the next month's box goes but um, so far I'm actually like really looking forward to it I can't wait to use some more of these products and let you guys know. So I will give you another update on these products at the next monthly um, unboxing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later.